I wish to make three recommendations concerning electoral accountability and democratic consolidation to conclude my reflections. First, as in all human endeavors, mistakes occur in elections. But genuine election mistakes can readily be discovered and corrected. Not so deliberate wrongdoing. To deter deliberate wrongdoing, all persons connected with the conduct of elections must be held strictly accountable for their actions by instituting a stringent regime of punishment for willful wrongdoing. All categories of election workers must be familiarized with the applicable regime of sanctions during their training, and any infractions must be seen to be punished. Two, it appears that some candidates rush to court with election petitions alleging manipulation of results primarily to placate their financiers and supporters so that they will be given another chance to be a candidate at the next time. The rush can cause undeserved injury to the reputation of the Electoral Commission and unnecessarily inund unnecessary in inundation of the courts. As we speak, there are well over 1,000 election petitions before the courts in Nigeria following the 2023 elections. There's well over 1,000 election petitions. Some of them uh, will not be concluded you know, before the next election is held. To prevent the rush to court with improbable election petitions from becoming a fashion, I suggest that election petitions that do not succeed should attract punitive sanctions. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Thirdly, in view of the importance of the judicial function elections, I wish to recommend collaboration between the Judiciary and the Electoral Commission to institute a program of continuing education for judges on elections. Such a program will improve the delivery of electoral justice, which in turn will contribute to electoral accountability and the consolidation of our democracy. In conclusion, let me say that free and fair elections are indispensable for the health of our democracy. We must all understand that it is an onerous responsibility to deliver free and fair elections, and that it is in our collective interest as citizens, irrespective of our positions in society, to help the Electoral Commission in any way we can to deliver free and fair elections. The least we should expect from everybody is proper election behavior. 